In this video, we're going to be looking at the elimination addition reaction, which is also referred to as the benzene reaction. In this reaction, we need a, an aromatic ring that has a halogen as a good leaving group, and this has to be a halogen. With this particular set of reagents, we're going to be replacing that halogen with an OH group. Some of the products will have the OH group attached to the exact same carbon as our halogen, and some of the products will have the OH group on the carbon that is ortho to where our halogen used to be. For this particular example, because these two products are identical, it doesn't really matter, but as you can imagine, if we had another substituent present on this ring, we would be getting two different products out of this reaction. Unlike the uh, SNAR reaction, there are no rules about what else could be attached to this ring. This ring could be empty, or you could have other things attached to it as well. It doesn't really make a difference. Also, um, we can do this reaction using amide, NH2, with NH3, uh, also step, step 2, H3O+. In this particular set of conditions, we'll be putting an NH2 group on the ring, um, also either on the same carbon or, or ortho to the carbon with the leaving group. Let's have a look at the mechanism of the reaction. Using this as our example, I've got bromine as my halogen. I've put a methyl group on the ring just as a point of reference to help illustrate the different positioning of our incoming base slash nucleophile. This is a two-part reaction, and the very first thing that we're going to do is an elimination reaction, and then we're going to follow that up with an addition reaction. So just like any traditional elimination reaction, the very first thing that happens is that the base goes after a hydrogen. And I'm going to choose this hydrogen right here. So it's going to be a hydrogen on a carbon that is ortho to our bromine, so it could be this hydrogen or it could be this hydrogen over here. And I'm going to draw that hydrogen in so that it's easy for us to show the mechanism. Our base, whether it's OH- or NH2- is going to come in and attack, abstract that hydrogen and move the electrons from the carbon-hydrogen bond down onto the carbon atom. And it's going to put a lone pair on that carbon atom. So we still have all of our six um, or our three double bonds in the ring. We've got a lone pair with a positive formal charge on this carbon, and then we've got that methyl group here, again, just for reference. And so this is like the, the step one of the elimination reaction. We've grabbed that hydrogen, and then the next thing that's going to happen is that those electrons are going to be coming in to make a triple bond. So we're going from a double bond to a triple bond and we're kicking off the bromine, getting rid of our leaving group. Now this is where the reaction gets its nickname benzene, Y-N-E ending, which is um, what we use to indicate an alkyne. And here at this point, we have this very weird looking triple bond inside the benzene ring. So this molecule which kind of looks like a benzene, but it's got that triple bond, we refer to this guy as benzene instead of benzene. Uh, so this, this much of it was the elimination portion, and now we're ready for the addition portion of the reaction. We're going to bring in more NH2-, and that NH2- is going to attack either one of the carbon atoms in the triple bond. It could be either one. And this is where we end up with those two different products. So I'm just going to kind of paste this down here. So we have two different options. We'll show that. So one option would be that the amide or OH minus, if you're using those reagents, is going to attack at this position, you know, like attacking right back the same carbon where the bromine was. And the other option is that it attacks in the ortho positions. Either way, it's attacking one of the carbons of the triple bond. When the, the amide attacks that triple bond, it's going to open that triple bond back up. Um, depending which way it goes, you know, it's just going to depend on where the attack is. And so then our next intermediate, we're now back to a double bond. In this first example, I attacked the amide up at the top, replacing the, the bromine. And in my second example down here, I, oh, and I got to remember my lone pair. That's my lone pair. My second example down here, I put the amide in the ortho position. Here's all my double bonds. Here's my lone pair. There's my CH3, like that. 
So we've got our amide group on, and then now, once we get to this point, we're ready for our step two, which is the H3O plus. And it's just gonna be a simple protonation. I'm gonna write it HHOH, just to make it easy for me to draw the mechanism here, HHOH, and hopefully you guys know that's not an HH bond. I just want to be able to show the breaking of that bond like that. And here are the two products. So we've reprotonated our benzene ring and squeeze that guy in. There's the two products of the reaction. If we had done this with hydroxide, the only thing that would be different is just that we'd be writing an OH all along in this spot and literally no other aspect of the mechanism would be different.